Hi and welcome to the Bad Cats Club, where it is Halloween month. Last time we were talking about outdoor decorations and this time we are talking about pumpkins. Here we'll be focusing mainly on different designs and what works and what doesn't. But first, a brief history. In jolly old England, carving a face into a turnip and walking around with it as a lamp at night was a common prank meant to scare travelers. It might not seem very scary now, but imagine walking around at night having no light source except what you bring yourself and seeing a lit up face coming towards you in the pitch black. Oh my god, what is that? What? What the fuck is that? No! 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 Also, there are stories in Ireland about a guy called Steamy Jack who somehow got the devil to promise he would never go to hell. Long story short, he winded up walking the earth for eternity with only a small little hellfire to light his way. And therefore, people started calling him Jack the Lantern. So again, we have the English to thank for our traditions. Not only pumpkin carving, but also useful stuff like tiny hamster coffins and cardboard beach furniture. Let's start with the basics. How to carve a pumpkin. Step one, get a pumpkin. Step two, grab a knife. Step three, cut off the top. Step four, remove the insides. Step five, draw on your pattern. Step six, cut out your pattern. Step seven, enjoy. Well, that pretty much covers it, so let's move on to patterns. Now, this is disgusting and gross and disgusting. Don't do it. But the idea isn't that bad, it's more the execution, okay? Puke isn't fun, it's gross. Now, this is a lot better. It's gruesome, not gross. Yeah, using a pumpkin to tell your partner some unfortunate news might not be the best way. Now, a pumpkin in pumpkin carving can be really cool, like this piece of art. Or you could do this. Of course, you won't get many trick-or-treaters because, you know, people will assume you're sick in the head. Carving faces into your pumpkin is always fun, and here are some great ideas. Wow. Hey, Pedo Bear, I am so letting my kids go to that house. Ooh. Is that just a beeper? Putting your baby into a pumpkin for a photo shoot might sound like a great idea and you're probably imagining it will go something like this. This is how it's really going to go. You're a bad parent. Oh. Well, it's about time I left the pumpkin world and ending it is a few of my favorite designs. Alright, so now we covered pumpkins. Next time we'll be looking at pets, do's and don'ts. I am Dolly Kisset and welcome to Halloween month.